Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha, where we are finishing up our field for the summer and getting ready to move on to fall. And also, we awoke at the end of last episode to finally having horse poop. Let's go get it, and we get to complete the pyramid today. So that's going to be very, very exciting for us. Let's throw our gemstones in first and foremost. We are getting really close on the sapphires in the barrel as well. To be able to upgrade something there. We're going to go and figure out what we can do with more sardius here. As well today. So let's start by grabbing meat. Quinoa and juice. All right. The other really exciting thing is we actually are also able to move our brewers down into our shed now. So that's going to be very exciting. And I think we may just go ahead and do that. So hopefully I will be done making a mess fairly soon. <laughs> almost, almost. Okay. Quinoa gets put away. All this mead will go up into a vinegar preserver. We're gonna put away the meat as well for the moment. We'll grab all this. And we'll cup it up here and throw in the wine. Although we actually probably do need the wine. But that's okay. Throw in the juice, pull the wine back out, we'll throw in some vinegar. Pick up some ferment, which needs to go in the brewer. My bad, I knew that. And I don't have any beer? I don't have any beer. Okay. We'll throw the wine back in. Then we can start working on picking up these pickles. Okay, I could have figured that out. That's fine. We put that away. We're gonna grab out some nice low quality vinegar. Okay, and then we'll put it back away. Then we will grab out some cabbages and mm, eggs would be really nice. You know what? We're going to throw in eggs. Don't even care. We're going to just do it that way. Eggs. And sure, fine. Know what? More lettuce. Okay. 
Okay. Pop that back in. Nothing there. How about in here? Nothing in here either. Okay. So, we need to come down and check on all of our animals. It's gonna be really important to us. Then we'll come on up and we'll say hi to these guys. And we'll go in the barns <laughs> to find horse manure. Just because it stinks doesn't mean it can't be useful. Well, it sells for 99 and we need to sell one. And just to say that we've done it. There's some good stuff around in here, but that's not a big deal right now because our inventory is so full anyway. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and make a shipping run and then we'll put our brewers down. I know we put the juice away when what we needed to put away was only the wine, but that'll be fine. It's going to be fine. Don't worry too much about it. Okay. Let's start off by dumping our inventory. <laughs> Which is going to take us a little bit of effort, but that's okay. Come on down through our forest. Into our... Now that's bigger. That I like. Okay. Hmm. Okay. wonder because I should be able to reach that right I cannot good to know okay ah but can I walk through I can excellent okay I may not like the fact that that's off kilter. We'll have to see. But that's already all of my things here. So we're going to need a lot more brewers. To work this out the way we really want to. But that's okay. Those aren't ready. None of this is ready. Olives are ready and pomegranates. Well, let's grab them. Might as well. And we'll grab these. And I don't really see anything that's come in today. We'll have to go and check, but that's okay. If nothing's come in today, then we don't have to worry about pausing while I go and deal with the farm. And that's a whole lot of nothing, guys. Oh, a little bit of honey, though. We'll take that. But other than that, that's it. Throw in the pomegranates and the low-quality olives. And that should be doing pretty well. There's no way this is full. No. So there's our wheat flour. Which we can use to make some buns. And that should be pretty good for giving gifts to Jen. Oop, 
We got some aged cheese. We got some milk. We got sure. I don't have anything to throw in there with that. There's a piece of hardwood so we can do that. And that can start going. And then we'll make some buns. 15 should be plenty. That should be more than enough, honestly. <laughs> but we'll go and give some buns to Jen, I guess. So looking here at our friendship, because we are still going to go to the jungle. Don't worry about that part. Pearl's been fully gifted. As has Dari and Era. So yeah, let's give Jin a little bit of something. And maybe Jag a little bit of something. I also do want to talk to Jizu, because I want to look into possibly getting some more outfits for us. I think that could be really cool. But anyway. Here's Jag. Nock can be a little picky about how I make a cooking fire. I mean, fair? He's a chef and you're not? Like, is that supposed to be surprising or something? Something's going on here. <laughs> Cooking isn't my strongest skill. I know. Hey! Sorry. Nari, dear, why don't you check on our guests? That I can do. Has that woman ever seen a kitchen? Shh! She's not that bad. I was hoping you'd come by. Tari and Nock are helping me to make my favorite bread. You have to try it. It pairs so well with everything. And it doesn't make you feel like your eyes are going to melt out of your head. Unlike some of this other stuff. <clears throat> Nock doesn't have the same spice tolerance we do. Not at all. These women are wild. Wildly good cooks. Can't argue there. I want to thank you. Moving here was hard. At first, it was like visiting any other clan with my dad. But then I started to overthink it. And once I started overthinking something... <clears throat> but becoming with friends with you made me feel like I might actually belong. I wanted you to have this recipe. It's for injera bread. The best bread ever invented. He's not wrong. I rarely am. Except when it comes to numbers, words, hunting, building, general non-food related activities. Wow. Era. Your mother tells me you're a storyteller like your dad. She's the storyteller in this case. Honey, give it a try. You're good at it. Era, I could use your help. Duty calls. <clears throat> Thanks. Your mom and dad. Your mom and my dad have a lot in common. Anyway, thanks again. You're probably off to some adventure, so take some bread with you. Alright. So, more stuff that we have to figure out how to cook. That should be great. That'll be fine. It's not a big deal. Let's just do this the easy way. Where is Jen? Okay, we're not going to bother with him at the moment. I imagine 
Fuok is out in the woods. Oh, he's actually coming back. That's good. That's very useful for us. We'll still grab Esther, though. Hello, give me my thing. Here's the tree in Fall Tovern. Wear it often to unlock all of its power. Don't, don't you run off. Even when it hurts, love is still a gift. Let's see. Things to do with Sardius. Still not seeing anything. There's something, but it takes 25. And then 30 gold and 20 silver. There's a 15. And there's a 15. So both of them are 15 gold and 15 sardius, it looks like. Yeah. All right. Let's grab 15 gold and 15 sardius. And then we'll head out to check the herds. And then maybe we'll come back and talk to uh, Jin and Akka. Or Jizu. Sorry, not Akka. Jizu. So some Sardius and some gold. Let's go finish that up. Do this one first, just because it's closer. Oh, well, that's convenient. Come here. You made my favorite meal. That's so kind. It makes me proud to see the children of our clan thriving. Can we dance? We can dance with Jin now. Okay. So that's another person off the dancing list. And hey, there's Jizu. When Akka's feeling down, I give her an ostrich egg. It always brightens her day. Well, we will have to remember that, won't we? Let's buy everything. Just, just, yep, everything. Smile it on outfit. A perfect outfit makes you don a smile. Under wraps, warm wraps kept together with a stylish belt. White wolf. Clothing that makes you have a strange affinity to the name Geralt. Wild Wolf. Clothing that makes you howl. Bear Mask. Honors the dreamy ways of bear. The bunny hat. Not a hair out of place. The cute bear hat. Few can bear how cute this hat is. The eye patch. May make you say yar and matey. The horned hat. Impress the bison with your impeccable taste in hat. The kitty hat. A cat with a little less bite in their smile, but just as scratchy. The monkey mask honors monkey and his playful spirit. The owl mask honors owl and makes you feel wiser. A smiley hat. A baby smile it on. Finds comfort on your head. It won't bite much. A smile it on hat. This hat's iconic style is bound to make people smile. A straw hat. A hat perfect for tending crops. A tomato hat may prevent others from throwing tomatoes at you if they say if they think someone else already did. The trunk hat. Would you even know who's under there? The white wolf hat may make you feel like howling. The wolf hat. Woof! And smile it on claws. Calling these shoes great only scratches the surface. That is every piece of clothing. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I will have to cut that out. This is every piece of clothing that we now own. That looks amazing on you. So we should actually be able to get in here, right? They look like just weird, boring brown colors. Is that really true? Can I not change the color? Maybe we can change the color in our mirror. Right? 
We must be able to change the color in the mirror. Pausable footwear to keep your paws clean. Adorable. Still like the little slip on shoes. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't wear this outfit just yet. I want to see what it looks like in a little bit, but let's go deal with the animals first. I had a goat over here. Where's my goat? Where is my goat? Oh no, we've lost our goat. I think changing our clothes lost us our goat. That appears to have been the case. Well, thankfully we can call her from right here. And I guess play my flute again instead of riding on her. Okay. Off into the woods we go. Let's go see what floats a goat. I'm really hoping eventually we'll run into that cookies and cream ibex. I am really, really hoping we find that. Uh, and still no luck. Great. Awesome. So cool is the best. Hmm. Come up here. We'll run past some boars. None of them knew. That's okay, though. We're gonna go down to the jungle. We're gonna complete the pyramid. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sharing with animals. The clan shared their home and food with animals, who gave them many gifts in return. A cheetah bracelet. A strange energy is preventing us from interacting with us. With this, something will happen soon. A cheetah bracelet, huh? Where is that? Hmm. Plus five riding mastery. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's something else for us to upgrade. And hopefully something will happen with that quite soon. Now. I wanted to see... what this all looks like and if we can change the color in our house maybe because I'm very interested in this hmm that's just hairstyle and hair color 
Doesn't look like we can change our clothes at all. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Because I wanted to show Aka what I look like as a purple wolf, you know? I thought that would be cool. Well, let's still go find her and see what she thinks. Let's go be wolf buddies together. She's in her house. I wonder if she's already in bed. Wow, she is. Bear with me for just a second. I'm gonna dig through the menu and see if there's any tutorials on this. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, that took me a little while. I went digging through the menu to see if there was any instructions on it. There aren't. So I started button mashing. Well, turns out button mashing works. If you right click, you can actually change what your clothes look like color wise. Uh, some of these are are a little warmer than some others, a little warmer looking and such. But uh, yeah, I thought this was fairly interesting. Um, I actually really don't like this outfit at all. There's some in here that aren't too bad. But I don't think any of them are as good as the one we've been wearing. Some of them you also cannot change the color of. I honestly still really love the patchwork. I think this is really pretty. We can change it, of course. We could do something like this color here. Which I think is kind of fun. And then we could change this to purple. That's actually really kind of fun to change from our regular purple and, and black one that we've been wearing. Or we could even just do that purple and purple. But yeah, I'm actually thinking, why don't we switch up a little bit, just for a little while, and do primarily blue with a little purple. I think that'll be fun. So that's going to be interesting for us. Now, we do need to make more of these brewers. So many more of these brewers. And that's going to take a lot of plant fiber and a lot of hardwood for us. So I say tonight, we go ahead and we gather some hardwood. Because eventually I do plan on really getting some of those bins going. I think that would be a lot of fun. I, I want that shed done. I want it full of brewers. And we're just going to brew all the brew. We'll be able to run through and dump just so much juice into there and make so much wine in a day. And we won't have to spend a ton of time contemplating whether or not should we go back to the preserving area and do a second round today. Do we have time for that? That won't even be a question. There won't be a need for a second round every day. And I think that's going to help us out a lot in the long run. As we continue to progress, you know? I don't know why there's only half a tree there, but that's fine. I'm just gonna gather up more stuff. The other thing I'm really gonna need to do is I'm really going to need to put some bins into that brewery. Because that's really what we're doing is we're doing a large-scale brewery. Like, this is going to be great. I 
I assure you, like, a brewery on this scale took a little while further than this into the development of civilization to create. Cavemen did not have full-scale breweries. But then what can I say? We're not just cavemen. We're money grubbing loons. <laughs> we are a little bit out of it. But hey, there's no such thing as too many raw resources. However, there is such a thing as a bedtime. Where is my goat? I walked right past her. Literally right past her. Poor thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some sleep. And we're up to 638, 284 clan prosperity. To which we contributed 5,466. We give her a save. And we will awaken to another event in the jungle. The Great Connector. However, that is going to have to wait. For with the saving of the game and the ending of the day, we have come to the end of the episode. If you guys like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey, and have a good night.